Ipsum, Volpes, Sit, Q, Ducimus. Co minus... Here's 10 things about Friday Night Funkin' versus Imposter. Version 4. Let's get into it. Friday Night Funkin' vs. Imposter is back. With an almost two year production time, vs. Imposter version 4 is the first major mod to drop this year, and the final major update to the mod. Version 4 was actually produced in collaboration with Inner Sloth, the creators of Among Us, marking the first mod to be backed by an actual company of an IP being put into Funkin', at least to my knowledge. Everything has been redone, from visuals to music. Not only has the content from version 3 been updated, but there's now a plethora of additional weeks and songs, totaling at well over three hours of gameplay. Imposter version 3 has 11 playable songs, while version 4 bolsters an impressive 62, well over 5 times the amount of tracks. Another new addition to the mod is the Story Mode menu, which acts as a stage select map in which the player pilots a spaceship through a spacious world map. Players can only go down certain paths once their conditions are met, be it beating the previous week or clicking on something secret mid-song. Versus Imposter version 4 now includes currency known as beans that are awarded to players after beating a song or week. Beans can be used to purchase skins, pets, and songs, styled after the bean shop in Among Us. Alright gamers, let's get these beans. As stated before, the visuals of the content in version 3 has been updated, most notably the fact that the mod now contains fully animated cutscenes. The dialogue boxes now visually represent the text chat in Among Us, and the manner of speaking is something straight out of the game. Red's line, I have a husband and kids at home, is of course a reference to his relationship with Green and their adopted kid Yarlamondo, who would eventually be changed to Yellow's kid. A lot of the original main weeks are left untouched story-wise, but there's a few small differences I'd like to go over. In the crowd during Meltdown, a number of crewmates can be seen, including one that is simply a bone. This is likely the crewmate we can hear Red kill in the cutscene before Sus's Moogus. Also, a funny little detail in the final cutscene of week one is that Green doesn't vote for Red, but himself. If you're wondering why Green killed Red before the song Sus's Tugus, this crewmate is actually the color Coral. Green's songs are all still remixes of Red's, with the exception of Ejected. In the background of Reactor, Stone Toss Amogus has been replaced by a crewmate wearing the Mask of Game Awards host Jeff Keighley. This is an actual item awarded to players who watch the Game Awards live on Twitch, called My Name Jeff. Tamongus makes a return in their newly remastered week, with the addition of one non-pixel song and free play called Tamongus Tuesday. Additionally, the minimod Lagos Halloween is included as its own week in the story mode menu, also relatively unchanged. Finally, we can begin talking about the new weeks. What about Black? I said finally! Week 3, Airship Atrocities, initially stars the Yellow crewmate and his two children. This is the first opponent in a main week to not be an imposter. Yellow's design and his appearance in the background of Reactor are both based on the animation Everybody Loves Purple. Though it rarely plays out, Yellow's full down animation has one of his kids almost sliding off his head before being grabbed and placed back on. Girlfriend Peg's boyfriend. Suddenly at the end of Yellow's second song, D'Lo, the true antagonist of the week reveals themselves, White. White has a gold halo and matching microphone, as well is a pretty serious looking hunting knife. Their song Oversight ends with Boyfriend being charge attacked a la Smash Brothers by Black, who What about Black? I, I literally just said Black chases Boyfriend across an elongated platform as the airship slowly rises in the background, wielding a large knife that is seemingly already being used. Black eventually loses it, burying his fangs and showing off his needle-like tongue, though Boyfriend is always just out of reach. This week culminates in the song Double Kill, while Boyfriend must now face off against both White and Black. Talk about a contrast. Boyfriend reminisces about the place where he met Yellow partway through the song, singing the motif of Mando while doing so. The song ends with only Black and Boyfriend facing off on the defeat screen, with the visuals and musical motif foreshadowing the upcoming finale. Hidden on the airship while Yellow is still alive is a button for a teleporter just behind Boyfriend. This reveals White hiding behind Girlfriend's speakers, ruining his planned surprise attack. Clicking this button will immediately teleport the player to a whole new week based around another inner sloth slash Puffballs United property, Henry Stickman. As part of their collaboration with Impostorm, Puffballs United provided uncompressed voice lines for use in this week. The airship was added to Among Us in correspondence with the release of the Henry Stickman collection, so it makes sense that this is the stage that segues into this hidden week. The menu that appears giving you the option to proceed is exactly the type of gameplay that Henry Stickman is known for, only in this instance there's only one right answer. The sock puppet is modeled after Versus Impostor's director, Clowfo, who can also be seen on the side of the airship. Henry's first song, Titular, is named after the fact that Henry is the titular character of his game, as in the character the game is named after. Yes, the distraction dance motif is heard briefly, but is immediately interrupted by a quick quip from Megalovania. Henry calls for help from his trusty pal Charles in the song Greatest Plan, who airdrops Henry's partner in crime, Ellie Rose, partway through the song Reinforcements. The gang is then interrupted by Top At leader Reginald Copperbottom and his Right Hand Man, two major antagonists of the series. Based on the fact that Right Hand Man is a cyborg, this stage likely takes place during completing the mission. 
George Sassy Jams is another separate mod like Lagos Halloween that got integrated into the final release of Versus Imposter. George Sassy is a basketball dribbling dripped out blue crewmate with a microphone that also has a visor on it, implying they're simply using another crewmate to sing. It's released separate from Versus Imposter's only a single song demo, but its inclusion in the mod is a fully realized four song week that takes place over the course of an entire round of Among Us. In the middle of the first George Sassy track 02, the lights get sabotaged and he is killed. This is a separate Red Imposter from the main story, known as Red Mungus. Red Mungus, Boyfriend, War Chief, and Jelker all sit down for an emergency meeting during the song voting time, and ultimately decide it's time for Red to go. In one last act of rebellion, Red Mungus grabs Boyfriend as they fly off, taking on their bat-like parasite form during turbulence. The final song of the week, Victory, is the polar opposite of Black's song, Defeat as the stage it takes place on is the crewmate victory screen. No matter how well or poorly the player plays on this stage, the combo breaks will always be zero, and the score is always, who cares, you already won. Funny enough, it still keeps track of the player's accuracy. Maroon helms the fifth week of this mod, Magmatic Monstrosity, and is arguably one of the most anticipated opponents since their reveal in early trailers. Though it's widely accepted that Maroon's design is based on Hank from Madness Combat, the dev team has officially denied this in the V4 dev stream. The name of their songs all follow the theme of Molten Lava, Ashes, Magmatic, and Boiling Point. YouTuber LS Mark technically didn't voice for the mod. This voice line used in the cutscene after Magmatic was originally intended for Cloudfo's submission to the Newgrounds Purple Imposter collab, but ultimately went unused used until now. The Purple Imposter collab is where Everyone Loves Purple was submitted, which is referenced within this cutscene. Maroon's parasite form is very similar to Green's, only the cracks in their body and the glowing from their mouth seem to represent hot lava inside their body, and the tendrils protruding from their back almost appear spider-like. Looking at their horns reveals that they're still wearing their iconic bandana. When Boiling Point was initially teased, the song wasn't for Maroon's parasite form and was intended to be an earlier song in the week. Week 6 opens up with a cutscene that details the origin story of our next opponent. Gray. Gray was once the child of another crewmate of the same color, but after the others voted to eject them, he began to grow bitter. Black took Gray under their wing, which led to Gray's deep-seated resentment to blossom and eventually lead to the events of this week. Black and Gray have torn through everyone on the airship besides Boyfriend, who becomes wide-eyed and disturbed at the realization that he's the only one left. This entire week takes place under the watchful eye of Black, who simply stands behind Gray and watches them do their thing. Due to Gray not actually being an imposter, this is the first mainline week where the opponent is just a crewmate for the entire duration. Pink is the overly friendly pacifistic imposter who helms week 7 of the mod. Their stage takes place in the greenhouse of Mira HQ, and they're surrounded by a number of other crewmates, one of which we'll talk about in Fact 9. Girlfriend points out that the round has gone on for 10 minutes and no one has died, seemingly proving Pink's dedication to befriend the duo as opposed to killing them. Pink's pacifism is the perfect distraction for Grey and Black to strike, sabotaging the lights and killing everyone in the room. Pink likely survived because imposters can't kill other imposters, so she's left to face off against Grey. Pink and Grey are complete opposites, one being a crewmate turned to killing due to resentment, and the other being an imposter who doesn't kill due to kindness. The fact that Girlfriend is decapitated and that Grey and Black have teamed up leaves players to assume that this week could have happened before the previous one. But not only is Boyfriend dead, but the last week took place on the airship and not Mira HQ. Before we move on, there's a few bonus songs in the free play menu that are required before the finale, so let's talk about them. Monotone is a shape-shifting imposter, able to copy the appearance and vocals of other creatures. This comes from an actual Among Us role that allows players to take the form of others. Monotone is Monotone Doc, one of the developers on the mod. Though this is the only free play song required to reach the finale, I might as well cover these two while I'm here. Chef Ungus is an orange mustache chef who's the main opponent of Sauces Moogus. He appears to be simply teaching Boyfriend how to cook. As opposed to the usual pizzicato plucked instrument sound, used for most crewmates slash imposters, Chef Ungus has more of a brass lead to their vocals. Powers, or as I like to call him, King Gungus Saxophone, is the main opponent of the song Room Code, likely named after the fact that this track takes place in the lobby. This is the first song in the mod to feature a different playable base game character, Pico. Powers ends this song with a sick saxophone riff, a skill shown off earlier during the song Sus's Tugus. What about Black? Comedy comes in threes, you need to leave. So back when we talked about George Saucy Jams, we actually skipped week four, which is the new and improved song Defeat. Thankfully for me, you now actually get to set the amount of combo breaks allowed before failing the song, as opposed to just instantly dying when missing a note. The max amount of misses shown in the V4 Black trailer is up to eight, but in the final product, the maximum is five. The stage starts out with the usual Defeat screen background, then partway through, changes to reveal a massive bones and bodies in the surrounding space. This mass includes many different variants of crewmates, as well as boyfriend. 
There's a brief flashback sequence featuring Black's appearance in version 3 before switching back to the remastered look for the end of the song. Once all of the main story songs have been beaten, including those in the free play menu we talked about earlier, Black appears and challenges the player to one final rematch. When sent back to the main menu, the music has now become slow and distorted, and red and green are no longer present. Week 4 has now been replaced by Finale, which beckons the player with a large red glow and visual distortion. In Finale, we finally get to see Black in his parasite form, fed up with Boyfriend ruining his win streak. The original release build doesn't have a max amount of misses like in Defeat, but Cloudfo has stated that they either want to add that or a health drain in the future hotfix. The song begins with flashbacks of the first three weeks' backgrounds before revealing the visage of Parasite Black. The background appears to be a strange fleshy cavern with protruding needle-like teeth and red stringy veins, matching Black's current appearance. The custom health bar now rises from the ground in the same manner, and the knife that Black is holding also appears to have teeth and a giant red eye with a glowing yellow pupil. This all implies that Black's parasite form spreads and infects its surroundings. In the version 4 dev stream, the team discussed the actual lore behind Black. While everyone within the mod is a person playing among us, and every other week besides 1 and 2 are different rounds, Black is actually integrated into the game kind of like in EXE, but not really. This is why they're always the imposter every round, and explains their parasite form. In Black's parasite down pose, a torn apart grey crewmate can be seen skewered on Black's tendril. This isn't the same grey from week 6, but is actually his father. Unfortunately for Boyfriend, the song ends with the defeat sting from among us, implying he was killed at the end of the song. And that's 10 things about Versus Imposter version 4, I hope you enjoyed. We're not done yet, we have a whole other video detailing the remaining free play characters cooking right now, so if it isn't out yet, be sure to hit that sub button, because it's right around the corner. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time.